And Joe Concha, right. <laughs> Fox News contributor and media opinion columnist for The Hill. In I, studio. Here on awesome. the couch. Awesome. I get to see Ashley's feet. <laughs> They're humongous. <laughs> okay. They are seven and a half just for. Okay. <laughs> He's like, yeah, right, whatever. Well done. Well done. <laughs> well done. Well done. <laughs> but you are, I, I think, our first Fox of Reds weekend couch guest in quite some time. So wow. you should consider it an honor. Thank you. Ones. I'll be a trivia question one day. A small one. Yes, you might be. <laughs> you might be. You know who else might be a trivia question someday? What's that? Chris Cuomo. Uh, uh, you know, his brother's got some things going on. I don't know if you heard about that. I've heard, yes. He now has a pre-planned birthday vacation. So, as he ignored the whole problem his brother's having, now he's taking vacation. What do you make of how CNN's Chris Cuomo is handling things these days? Chris Cuomo should take a permanent vacation right because it's one thing to help your brother in need i've heard that argument it's, it's his brother he's helping out it's another when you're a primetime news anchor and then you're also drafting statements for your brother governor on how to smear credible people 11 of them women sexual harassment allegations and pushing back on that and then piously going back on your show where you're an anchor and talking about how you have to believe all women and brett kavanaugh is guilty until proven innocent so look CNN fired three employees. Did you hear about this? Yes. This week, yeah. zero tolerance. They showed up to work while they weren't vaccinated. What's the tolerance around, I don't know, if you're Jeffrey Tubin and you're on a work call and it, it ends in a happy ending? Like, what, what, what's, what's that all about? <laughs> keep your job. You keep your job or you're Chris Cuomo and you do what you did. Uh, on top of also, like, faking his own quarantine, right, right? and everything yeah. that happened yeah. last year. So it just shows you that CNN has no standards whatsoever. And... Their ratings aren't exactly reflecting, like, a successful story here because they're getting beat by, let me ask all three of you, mm -hmm. have you ever heard the channel INSP? No. INSP. No. Should uh, I? Absolutely not. Okay. I'm happy to do some advertising for them here. They play old westerns. And in Chris Cuomo's time slot, I believe they play Gunsmoke, and that oh. is beating Cuomo <laughs> at this oh my point. God. I <laughs> swear to God that's true, right? So INSP, a, a network that no one has ever heard of, and, and they wrote me. They said, thank you for mentioning us on Fox. I go, yeah, no problem. They're beating Sam. Really quickly, why don't that's you ask amazing. Joe the question you asked me during the break? Yeah, so we saw the picture, you know, Obama's party was supposed to be scaled back, or they said it was scaled <laughs> back, but then we saw that giant tin. Will and I were talking about that um, in the break. You know, I am pro-party. Like, if you want to do that, go for it. But it's hypocritical. I'm Let's pro jello shots at parties. <laughs> as we were talking about during the commercial. Yeah, that's what I'm talking oh, about. Yeah, that's we not, love it. That's not less than 500. The good news is, and, and Will, a uh, former sports guy, you can appreciate that, that's going to host the Super Bowl in 2024. <laughs> the Super Bowl. So congratulations. Uh, I, I don't even know where to start here. So they had, what, 600 guests that were supposed to come, and they scaled it back to 250, yeah. and that's supposed to make some sort of difference? Yeah. And how, by the way, how did all those people get there, by the way? I think private jet probably. John Kerry got there by fr private jet. He did. Climate yeah. czar. That's not good for the... Uh, for the environment, for, for emissions. Chrissy Teigen took a break from bullying people on Twitter oh. and showed up as well. How would you like to be the one who is disinvited to the party, by the way? Like you're Larry David or David Letterman, right? It's like being disinvited to the prom by your prom date. Like, How did David Axelrod got disinvited? He was he in did? the Biden-Obama administration. Yes. Reversed. Did you, did you keep your invitation? I gave it up willfully. You did? Oh, uh, willfully. Just because I, yeah. I want to follow the science, and right. I felt like I should do that. Um, before we go, I yeah. thought you were going to ask him this question, which you asked me during the commercial break, and I honestly don't know the answer to, but oh. I think Joe might. Chris Cuomo, back to him for one moment, yeah. is taking a vacation. Pre-planned. Um, yeah, is that common to just take a vacation when How you're trying to... How coincidental are these vacations? It's amazing <laughs> that it was, you run into this controversy and then suddenly he's off to, I guess, the Hamptons. I have one more thing to add. My 84-year-old um, grandmother just texted me saying that she watches Gunsmoke, so I guess she's not watching Chris Cuomo. I didn't even see you check your phone. I'm amazed oh, I was, yeah. check that mid-segment. You're checking texts. Good for you. So, yeah, we do know somebody's watching it over Chris Cuomo, so... Yeah. I, I heard from a lot of people born before 1950 saying, how dare you, INSP, how do you not know what that is? I know, so, she knew. I was like, it's a oh, thing. Sorry. Oh, that's funny. Say thing. hi to Grandma. <laughs> we'll do some Jello shots later. Oh, she is not the Jello shot. <laughs> While watching <laughs> INSP. Joe revealed yeah. he may have had a Jello shot or two last night. <laughs> I've never been, we had an adult party last night, which means no kids. And it Anything's resulted possible. in something that, you know, I just don't have tolerance anymore. I think that that's mm -hmm. what we're Which you like. delivered this morning, so you can do that's it. Right right here. Just Joe Conscious showed up. Beat. I love no it. Matter bye bye. Joe. We got to go. I'm Great told. to see you, brother. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.